Matthew chapter 9, verse 19. And Jesus arose and followed him, and so did his disciples. And behold, a woman, which was diseased with an issue of blood 12 years, came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, said, Woman, be of good comfort. Your faith has made you whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Now, the word whole is the Greek word, number 4982 in Strong's Concordance. And it's a Greek word, sozo, which is a derivative of soteria in the Greek. So it's the same word, just used differently. Okay? So, now notice the word sozo, again, means to save, to deliver, to protect, literally or figuratively, to heal, preserve, save, do well, or to be or make whole. Do you get that? To be or to make whole. He said, woman, your faith has done this. Now notice, when did, who set her the time for her healing? She did. For she said within herself, if I just touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. One of the biggest reasons people do not receive healing is because two things, at least two things, Number one, they fail to settle it. Number two, they fail to settle a date, a time, right? They fail to settle it in their mind and in their heart and say, this is what's going to happen. Why? Because people want to end up saying, well, you know, we, we, we don't want to overstep. I mean, you know, if it be the will of the Lord, if it be God's will, and then they'll pray, well, Lord, if it be thy will, this to happen. That ain't settling it. That's doubt and unbelief. If you don't know the will of God, don't pray. I'll say it again. If you don't know the will of God, don't pray. Now, the only exception to that would be praying in tongues. If you don't know the will of God, you can pray in tongues, right? And at that, but at that point, your mind uh, is unfruitful, but your spirit will get stronger. And it'll come through your soul, but your soul does not understand it. So what we need to realize is that when we start talking about if it be thy will... All that means is you don't know God's will. 